Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav Chawla and today we are going to learn about the functioning of this software which we are going to use for the audio editing of our podcast. So without wasting much time, let's start with it. So basically the first step of every software that we need is importing the audio files in our software. So how that works? So you can see on the screen here we are having an icon of import. You can see this one. So this icon basically helps us to import the files in our menu or we can also use this button. So basically we can use this icon to import the files. So now we can just pick any file from our file explorer and uh, let's say this one. So here we are. Here we are having our file in the window of our software. Now the next step is to move this file to the timeline window. So how can we do that? We can just simply drag that file into our timeline window or we can also uh, pick up that file and put it here on this timeline window. So now I am dragging this file and it's done. Now the next step towards our audio editing tutorial is about this line dotted line which is on the above of this timeline window. So what does this basically helps us with? In some times we are having a long audio and we want to see in this only this slide or only in this window we don't have to drag it again and again here and there. So in order to make it small we can just simply use this line this dotted line to drag it in whichever direction which we want. By this, this window will be small or shrinked you can see and uh, you can also expand it by moving in the opposite direction. Now the third most important thing that we are going to use the tool is of chopping the audio. So if we need to trim our audio into two sections or many more sections then we can just simply go on the part where we want to trim our audio and then you see I am having a scissor button so whenever I press this scissor button my audio will be trimmed into two parts you can see so now my audio is separated into two parts and there is one alternative for that just simply let me drag it in the other direction and I can press this button and it will be trimmed into two sections again and uh, in order to delete a audio I can just simply select the audio clip which I have to delete and I can just press the keyboard button delete and it will be deleted you can see it's done now we are going to discuss about some more tools that are used in the editing purpose of this podcast editing software so for this I'll tell you firstly that if I have an another audio in my timeline you see now I'm having another audio and if I want to hear only the sound of one audio and don't want to hear the sound of another audio then I can just simply mute the upper audio by simply pressing on this loudspeaker button that you can see just aside the keep uh, lock button okay and by pressing this button I can just simply mute this audio and I can only hear the second audio you can see so by this feature I can just simply mute one audio part and uh, I can use the second audio part for my functioning of the editing and uh, in order to lock one audio clip you can see I can easily move this audio clip here and there I can easily move below audio clip also here and there and if I want to lock this audio clip that I don't want to move it further again and again so I can just simply lock this audio clip by pressing this lock button so you can see this audio clip has been locked and it can't be moved now so it helps in or it helps in editing when we are having too many files and this is simply the naming of this audio moving on to the another most important feature that is audio meter so when we press on this icon we can simply have our audio meter in of our tracks so this audio meter simply tells us about the peak of the volume that we are using and it will simply tells us about the level of volume which we can see by playing our tracks and uh, the two sections here represents left and right portion so left one represents the left ear portion and right one represents right ear portion now coming to the volume part 
there is sometimes cases when the recorded audio is too high and sometimes it is too low so in order to adjust that level of audio we can just simply drag this waveform upside and downside which will help us to reduce or increase the volume of the audio by simply dragging it up and down we can simply increase or decrease the volume of our audio which we are having now during editing we all know that uh, dealing with too much audios in one section it is a bit confusing for us and sometimes having a long audio may result in some errors made by us so in order to get rid of those kind of errors or making such mistakes we can just simply classify audios into different sections that for one audio we can give it a separate color and for one audio we can give it a separate color by simply just pressing the right click on the icon and simply selecting a color so by selecting any color we can just give another color to an audio part and another color to the second audio part by which we can easily differentiate both of the clips and it will be much more easier us to recognize which clip is used for which purpose now let's dive into the great features of the audio editing so just simply click the audio and go no adjust audio and now we are have been displayed with a window which is having multiple options to edit our audio in different things so the first feature that we are having here is fade in so what does basically this fade in feature means it helps us to fade our audio inside which means that some if we just start our music you know sometimes we have a background music and if we just start the music directly then it will create a sound like uh, it will just start with a pop sound so you don't want it to start with a pop sound you want it to simply dive into the vibe so for this thing you can just simply fade in that audio by fading in that audio it will not look messy by for fading in you can just simply drag the icon on the top left part of your clip to the right direction so by this you can just simply fade in your audio and it will not sound messy now and for also fading out your audio you can just go on the top right portion of your audio and you can just simply drag it in the left direction so by doing that your audio will be faded out so these both are the same phenomena which can which can easily work on your audio and which makes your audio sounds amazing so the next great feature of adjusting audio is pitch so what does this pitch basically means so pitch refers to the shrillness of your sound how shrill is your sound is going to be let's say if you increase your pitch a bit then your sound will sound a bit robotic and if you decrease your sound uh, decrease your pitch sorry then your sound will be a bit heavier than before so you have to use this pitch so precisely that it doesn't makes your sound look bad or worse than before you have to use it precisely so that it will sound nice for the listeners and you can choose this amount according to your wish but after listening the audio and uh, here you can see if i choose a small bit of sound then you, my sound sounds amazing but whenever i increase this sound to the large extent then obviously my sound is going to be a bit robotic so choose this amount very precisely so the another great tool that we are going to use now is denoising so what does basically this denoising means it helps us to remove the all unwanted noise or background noise that is not of use to remove from our audio so this basically helps us to remove the background noise from our audio you can simply check that whenever you play the simple audio it have a lot of background noise so in order to remove that noise we can just click on this remove background noise and our background noise will be removed a bit and i'm keeping it at weak because whenever i keep it at mid or strong then it may result in change changing the voice of the person that is involved in the podcast so always try to keep it at weak and do other settings the next feature of this application is equalizer so what does basically this equalizer means when i go to this customize button i'm having an equalizer window so this equalizer window is basically which we are also going to use to take noise our audio and make our audio look more smoother and better 
so fortis is basically represent so the left three lines represent the low tones the right three lines represent the high tones and the middle four lines represents the mid tones so fortis basically these tones refer to whenever you are using an audio so in podcast you say you are having a person who is speaking and the person is always having the high tone and you are also having a background noise in your audio and the background noise is always having low tone and the middle tones also result in the voice of person and also result in the voice of background noise so always adjust the middle tones a bit precisely and here i am lowering the low tones in order to reduce the background noise and i also increasing the high tones in order to increase the voice of person a bit and i'm making a wave form so by which we can i can make my sound look greater so here i am just done with this now i'm ready with my wave and uh, now we will make our sound look sound greater than before the another great feature of this application that is keyframes so what does this basically keyframes helps us to do so sometimes there is a situation in which we have to lower down our audio from some part and then again make it high at some part so in that kind of situation you may think of simply trimming that section of audio and just lowering the volume of that section it may help you at some extent but sometimes trimming again and again is not a good practice to do in this audio editing so in order to get rid of those kind of situations you can just simply use keyframes you can see i have already trimmed this part and lowered the volume but it is not a good practice to do so now i'm you i'll show you how to use keyframes in your audio clip just simply go on the audio and select the audio and uh, then go on adjust audio and uh, now you just have to drag it down and you can see the icon of keyframes here and just press on it and a keyframe will be added on your audio you can see and now i am having adding another keyframe and uh, one more and one more so now i am done with the keyframes and now i can just simply drag it down and you can see that uh, this waveform is so nice this waveform is so nice it just it is just simply going low at what point i want it to be low the next feature which we are going to talk about this volume slider so this volume slider basically helps us to decrease or increase the volume of our audio clip so when i make this slider go down then it basically reduces the waveform and it lowers the volume of the clip and when we make it up then it increases the volume of the waveform and it basically increases the height of the waveform which proportionally increases the volume so this slider basically helps us to increase or decrease the volume of our audio clip and we are also having a slider for the left and right so basically when i slide this slider to the left side it makes the audio listen in the right left side more and when i slide it to the right side then it makes our audio hear it in the right ear more so let's check it once when we play the audio you can see that the right channel is slightly above the left channel which shows that moving slider to the right makes the right ear hear more sound than the left ear and when i make it completely to the 100 in the right side then you can easily see that the right channel is only playing the left channel is having no sound so this is basic meaning of this left and right slider now the next important thing is you can see that the upper audio track is for the podcast and the lower audio track is for the background music and keeping background music at this audio level doesn't make our podcast audio here properly so in order to 
adjust that we have to lower the volume of our background music and sometimes we need to increase the music and sometimes we need to decrease the music so in order to decrease the music on a particular section of the clip we can just simply use a feature that is ducking so what does basically ducking helps us with when we use ducking then it lowers the sound of the bottom clip which is present under the upper clip so whichever clip we want to sound higher than the other clip we just have to apply ducking effect on that clip so it will just lower the sound of all other clips that are present below that we don't have to adjust the volume by our own side now moving on to the next part we are here watching that our audio clip is of a small length you know but this is not the case every time we must have some clips we may have some clips which are of longer length than this and uh, for background music we will not have a background music of 40 minutes or 50 minutes every time usually we have background music of 3 or 4 minutes every time okay so in order to use this background music again and again we don't have to import it again on timeline we just have to copy this background music and just paste it so by using this we can just simply make our task more easier than before because if we import it again and again then it will be a you know slightly difficult task for us but if we simply copy this clip and uh, then we just paste this clip on the timeline then we can use this clip again and again and for this we can also use the shortcut key control plus v obviously so this enables us to use the clip again and again without importing it from upside now when we are editing a podcast we may have a need of checkpoint to just determine whether we have edited that portion or not so to create a checkpoint we can use this icon for adding a marker on our timeline window so you can see i'm having a blue colored marker or you can say checkpoint here and which helps me to determine my audio task easily moving on to the next great feature that is an audio mixer so this is the icon for the audio mixer you can simply press on that and you will be having the window of audio mixer so in this audio mixer we are having three columns so firstly is for video one which is of no use and obviously audio one is for the track present at first audio channel and audio 2 is the track present at second audio channel and here we are also having the sliders for the volume left right and for the making volume up and down and here we are having a master slider which controls the volume of whole clip you can say all the clips all the volume of all the clips is controlled by this master slider if we make it zero then no sound will be here by us we are also having two more effects stereo and surround which uh, adds extra effects to our sound now in order to edit your audio for adjusting the audio then you don't have to go in again and again adjust audio option you are simply having an icon on the timeline window which basically helps you to go directly on the adjust audio bar and if you want to change the speed you can directly go to speed and duration option and you can edit the speed according to your wish and you can also write down a value by which you have to edit your speed and uh, you can also reverse your speed now you are also having an icon on the timeline window which is helpful in increasing or decreasing the speed you can see you can either slow down you can either make it fast or you can customize the speed according to your wish next feature of the speed icon is reverse and when we press this reverse it reverses our audio so when we reverse our audio we can easily see that when we play it again then it is played in the reverse direction of its natural uh, you know form so it is just played just reverse of the original form and uh, if you want to again make it normal we can just select it again and make it uh, press the reverse button again and it will be again back to normal and the another feature of this speed and duration uh, you know icon is 
freeze frame so what does basically this freeze frame do is just freezes the frame at which we are currently present so it freezes that frame and there is no volume present at that particular frame now in some cases you may find that you can easily move this clip in left or right direction and you can easily move these old clips but what if in some case you have to add something at the front and you don't have to move every clip one by one so in those cases you can just group these clips for grouping you have to select them and just go on the feature group so your clips has been grouped now you can move them together so whenever you move this in left or right direction you can easily see that these all are moved together so this is a great feature when we forget to add something at front and we can add them at very last so it will not also create any errors in our editing and we can also ungroup them at last now the most important thing at the last part is exporting our audio track to go on export button and then just select the format that is mp3 and now put the name of your audio and select the appropriate lo location where you want to export your audio and just simply go on export button tap on it and your audio will be exported there within a fraction of seconds and uh, the another feature of this application is if you want to save your project so in order to save your project you just have to go on the save project icon that is present at the top right of this window so going on to the save project icon you can just simply save your project to your computer which will later be edited by you if you are not in a position to work currently so you can work later on that project and you can just save it so you can see how i have saved this project here So that's all for today and if you have any queries guys you can just post down in the comment section below. So thank you guys and uh, have a nice day.